See, next turn I likely want to play Flame Tank Totem. Let's mm. coin the 1 1 then. Be pretty good. Hmm. Gladness ooze. Heck. Terrible. He now has a weapon to kill my flame tongue, it's pretty mean. Ah, oh, trash. Very good counter plays here from from his side. And Quite hard to play around. Especially the ooze. Now I need to pass. Hmm. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Very powerful Kodos here. Have nothing. Double bloodlust. Double evolve. It's just terrible. I need to play this card now. So that I have something on the board maybe on the next turn and that I have the mana developed kinda. Maybe he doesn't have Spike Trick Steed. He does have it though. Hmm. This is the way we do it, right? Ooh, Cultmaster doing a pretty good job here, I have to say. Throwing a shit ton of cards. Hmm. Probably double evolve time. Ooh, it's spirit echo time. On the other hand, I didn't even consider that. No, I don't think, like, it's good for me if he goes for equality cons here, right? Mm, pretty good six drops, but the Doomsayer. We have to evolve once more. Oh, the synergy. Wow, pretty bad seven drops though. Only I only like the Rashodon. Seven mana five five. Well seven mana seven seven. That's about average, right? And at least he has to 
consider clear here, right? Because of bloodlusts, which I actually have two of them, right? So he kind of has to do something. I wonder if it casts Spirit Echo on this board. Getting the Jade Chieftain with the Spirit Echo is actually not that terrible. I actually also like the Air Knapper. He's going for uh, Wild Pyro and then he goes for the quality. At least his stuff also dies completely. It's not that bad. Hmm. Doomsayer. He played one Steed, he played one Turian. I think it's safe to devolve the Doomsayer here. Let's see what we get. Light Warden. Hmm. Do we go for White Eyes? I think so. Can I get more value out of the Spirit Echo? I could get an additional White Eyes maybe. Next turn. An additional Stone Hill. Is that better than another White Eyes? Considering all the 1-1s one here, I think it's probably better. Especially also triggering his um, getaway Kodo here. And the Stone Hill Defender is pretty good against the Ashbringer, right? So I do like that quite a lot. Ah, oh, that's the Steed though. <laughs> In the last name. Let's see what this one gives us. <laughs> An extra white eyes nonetheless, right? Um. Yeah, we'll probably go for the white eyes. We need to spread the board, right? I think we have a chance to outvalue him here. Or to put him in a position where, where he can die to bloodlust. Nothing, that's that's good actually, right? I'm not sure if I want to use Bloodlust here to kill the Steed. Probably not. I think we just do this and kill the board slowly. I don't even want to... Oh, I should have ruled the Totem first, obviously. I don't even want to play my, my extra raptors here until I saw a drake. If he plays doomsayers, he's playing the primordial drake, so that means I need to be aware of that. And the consecrate, obviously, yeah. <laughs> Double Storm Guardian in the deck. Nice, we get the Stone Hill. We start with that, I think. Probably just the Earth Elemental. It's likely to get Peacekeeper, but... Maybe he doesn't have the Peacekeeper. Mm, it's the Peacekeeper, right? 
Oh, he runs humility. Interesting. Ragnaros. Hmm, but we get a decent bloodlust here, right? Don't think I want to play the Storm Guardian here. This is strong enough, right? Maelstrom Portal plus Bloodlust. Best to be strong enough. Mm. I probably want the damage on this one. I'm not quite sure. Let's see. I think so, yeah. I want the damage on this one and then I want to send in these two into Rag. It's a little bit sad, but we have the other Bloodlust for the egg, right? And we still have the other Flame Tongue Totem in the deck. Oh, there comes the Drake. Oh, when we draw a card, it's not that terrible, right? So... Actually, I could consider the other Bloodlust here to kill the Drake. My other two guys are pretty useless if I don't use the Bloodlust with it. What does he have left in the deck? I'm not quite sure. There might actually be Nazoth in the deck, right? He runs Doomsayers. I think Bloodlust should be my win condition, right? So I'm going to play the Storm Guardian here, and since he just used AoE, maybe I try with the Doppelgangster. I don't have Evolve or Spirit Echo left anyway. So I try to fill the board with the Doppelgangsters for mana efficiency and stuff. And obviously at some point he should be out of AoE. Okay, there comes the Peacekeeper. It's not that crazy when you, when you when I have the Bloodlust, right? So. No equality. Pretty good. So... We play the Bloodlust. Sure. And into the Drake we probably send this one. And this one. 15 damage to the face. I guess so, right? The trades are just terrible. The good news is tearing doesn't really help him. Because my board is so full. Basically needs equality. Mm, not quite. Not quite. Hmm. All fire one. Go! No healing totem. I'm not sure I want to do these trades. I hope he's out of AoE, right? So I just hold one other turn. Maybe we can pick up the flame tongue totem. Hmm, Doomsayer. Forbidden healing. The Storm Guardian. Do we have enough to kill the Doomsayer? We should have enough, right? Um, I think I want to kill units so that I can make a totem and maybe play the other Storm Guardian. Uh, probably this one goes here. We have exactly enough to kill it, luckily. I was hoping for the healing totem, but it didn't work out, sadly. So now, the second equality is my... 
my nightmare, right? And I'm looking for my flame tongue totem. Tough match, a lot of value involved. I don't really have very good draws left. The two primal fins are quite terrible. The jade is okay, the flame tongue is pretty strong. And the Thalnos, well, that's an extra card draw, right? Ooh. Quite strong. Pretty good here for him. Get Thanos. Well, well. So if he picks up the second Consecrate or if he runs a second Primordial Drake, I probably lose. Bad. Oh, not a Tyrion. It's very good for him, obviously. We get that. That's quite nice. I think in this moment it's better to play the flame tongue instead of the weapon destruction. Tough match. Pretty good that I did draw the uh, that I didn't draw the primal fins. That's pretty good. The Doesn't matter that much. Nice. We have him. Nice, nice. I do like the Devolve as security against Rogue. They beat me so often with that um, Edwin. Let's use the coin already. I think we can kill both pirates here if we do that. He's probably just going to weapon up and then next turn we can kill the second pirate. And play the totem. I like it quite a bit. Hmm, we could also consider the Corsair to destroy the weapon. It protects a 1-1, one, one, but it's not that mana if, uh, efficient. And it doesn't really... I think this is still better, especially because we hold another primal fin. Here we produce a 1-1, one, one, and now he needs SI or Viscerate, uh, SI or Backstab. Make a good play. Ah, oh, he has it though. Well, at least not not fan of knives. Hmm. 
Okay. You take that. You just use the removal. Did you get that from the pot? Not sure. Do we go for card draw here? Or do we want to equip the weapon? The weapon doesn't seem that useful. I think the most useful is the card draw. Because it might really draw two cards here. Oh, this is good for the curve next turn. I think against Droke, I like to get all these cards extra. Let's see. The prep being used on turn 5 is pretty good actually. That means that. Um, well, that's a good one for him. That means not so strong the auctioneer turn. Hmm. We want to risk the devolve. Next turn I'd like to have 6 mana, right? So I don't really want to play the Jade Claws. We could develop this into Spirit Echo. I kinda like it. Getting more 1-1s, one -ones, getting more annoying totems he wants to kill. Ooh, Doom Hammer. Right, so the next turn he has just 5 mana, I like that. Ooh, a cheap thing, thing, thing from below. Mm. Oh, we can actually remove a charge here, right, if we want to. I think I now like the weapon though. Next time we can play these three or this one also. But good. We can hit a double gangster, I think we win for sure. And it turns out keeping Devolve is bad, right? Pretty useless here. He's probably going to assassinate the 5-5 five five and then kill extra minions. Well, let's see, that might be a nice eye. He didn't play Fan of Knives yet. He did play the Thalnos, so there's no spell power. Finish. 
which is just a back step. Okay. Okay, there's the Slayer. And I expected that. This one makes it quite annoying for him, right? So let's play it. Definitely that. Mm. Is it worth sending patches there? Probably not. No. Ooh, nice. Good draw. This game looks quite good. Let's see if we can get it. That rogue. Old spirit. All right, let's assume there is no taunt and we win, right? This is, um, ah, we wait, 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 we cannot devolve and play a luck here. Do we win if we play a here? Not really, right? This goes here, this goes here, then we have four plus another 10. It's just 14. Doesn't work out yet. So it's probably not time for Alakir. Is it time for the wolf? I'm not sure. The, the wolves are good to devolve, right? But the auctioning are not, not really. It's still it's so good usually to play Alakir together with that, that flame tongue. Maybe it's time for, for that, right? Kill the auctioneer with his face. You cannot play too much minions against a rogue, right? He doesn't have AoE. I think he just dies here. On Volcano. Then no, we have more than 15. Nice! Three more wins.